As many of you know, each month I take a portion of the AdSense earnings from the channel and replenish my stock of electronics parts and generally get some new stuff for the channel. We'll take a look today. I've done a video, a multiple, on how to buy parts on eBay, so you need not ask where these come from because the process is always the same and you can shop for them yourself. This is a super capacitor for my Fluke multimeter. Many, many moons ago, I did a teardown of a parasitic load in the my Fluke 189, running the batteries dead, and this little guy is the culprit. Uh, I've been running without one in that meter for, for years, so here's the replacement. Here we've got some leads for my power supply, banana jacks to an alligator clip, uh, lots of vendors for these, a pretty handy little item. In this bag, I already took the liberty of labeling them. These are NPN transistors. They are the 2N 2222A model, a uh, pretty common transistor, good for a lot of projects. In this bag, this is the one I'm possibly most excited about. This is also leads for my power supply, but it's kind of like a one size fits all. Banana jacks to all sorts of different styles. We've got alligator there, we've even got a USB, we've got these really really handy little clip-on style for powering onto boards and components, and then another variant of them here. Very very cool. Uh, budget price stuff, this stuff is not expensive, but I just never got around to getting one. In this bag, this is flux. If you do any amount of soldering, you can't have too much flux. So this is the Amtec brand RMA223, good for, uh, well, standard 6040 leaded solder. It's good for just about everything. But you just basically hose the circuit board in this flux, and you just use a, a syringe. They don't come with that. You have to have your own syringe end and your own end for it. And you just hose the area you're working on when you're doing any soldering. Uh, pretty much a crucial item for surface mount soldering. You pretty much can't get away without it. More leads for my power supply, same ones as the first. Now here, this is a replenishment of supplies that everybody needs. LEDs, two different sizes in an assortment. This is tape shot so I won't bother opening it or I'll make a mess, but uh, super cheap. It's only a few bucks to buy this. Um, pretty handy for smaller projects. I like these little tiny ones and I have tons of these already but what I didn't have was this particular color of blue. Um, figured what the heck, grab an assortment, away we go. Here is resistor assortments. Two sets, same thing, repeated twice. They're so cheap to buy a huge set of resistors. Uh, it's, you're better off just to buy a whole set, like a whole assortment, rather than ordering piece by piece sometimes, because this is cheaper. In this one, we have... What do we have? We have jumpers, lots and lots and lots of jumpers. This is uh, what you would call a jumper assortment when you go to order on eBay. Nothing special here, they just come zip tied together, dirt cheap. Uh, I like these ones with this kind of rounded end. There's two different styles, there's a square uh, crimped end and then these are like a molded. Um, I think they're maybe ultrasonically welded, I'm not sure, maybe even heat, I'm not sure. But uh, I like this style, and they have the really, really long ends on them, which makes them stand off the breadboard a little bit, but uh, it's kind of like... What do we got here? 
These are GoPro lenses. Uh, these are for FPV cameras and these are actually GoPro replacement lenses. And uh, yeah, they just work good for the FPV systems to uh, expand your, your field of view. I forget the FOV on these, but it's pretty darn wide. It's, it's, it's in the middle of the range actually. It's not overly wide, not overly narrow. More flux. Can't have too much of this stuff. It's dirt cheap to buy this Amtech stuff. I love it. I don't like running out of things. In this bag, we have some voltage regulators. These are L7805 regulators. They're one and a half amp, five to 18 volts in. And I quickly just scribbled the pin out on them. Great for Arduino projects uh, or any small electronics project. Really robust, really common little uh, voltage regulator. Uh, nothing fancy to using it. You can check out the data sheet online. And yeah, really straightforward. Uh, I, was, I was out of these, so time to get some more. And then this one, the last one, this is gonna be a fun video. This came from IC Station. These are high voltage transformer slash generators. I um, actually don't know what they would market them as. Basically, they are essentially a stun gun without the battery. And they sent me two for review. I picked these, uh, hand-picked them, because I, I want to do a couple of videos on these. I did fire one up, and it is honestly terrifying. Holy crap! <laughs> These are highly, highly effective and highly, highly dangerous. So look forward to a video on that. That is our haul of goodies for this week. Should be a blast and make lots of uh, interesting electronics projects. I will see you in a couple of days with another new video, guys. Cheers.